It's Tuesday Hoops. Up next, equally deadly off the bounce or the mid-range pull-up, Dwayne Wade and the Miami Heat go up against the L.A. Lakers and the 2008 league MVP, the incomparable Kobe Bryant. Coming right up. It's Tuesday Hoops. Up next, the candy man with the sweet game. Lamar Odom and the Los Angeles Lakers go up against the Miami Heat. Los Angeles, Miami, coming up next. And there, a bit earlier, the Heat getting mentally and physically ready. It's the Los Angeles Lakers on the road in this interconference battle. 2K Sports and the NBA welcomes you to our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. And now the Lakers starting group. We've got Odom and Kobe. And for the Heat, we've got Shaquille O'Neal, D-Wade out there with Haslam, and Jones. Clark, some mixed results for the Heat last year against the Western Conference. Yep, they were a perfect 500 against the Western Conference, Kevin. Given what the Magic did against the West last year, you think the Heat would aim to improve that if they want to win the division? It'll be the Heat off the tip. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Coach Stan Van Gundy. He said that his team knows about the blocking capabilities they're up against, but they will look to use it to their advantage. He said leapers want to leap. If we can get them up in the air, we'll have a chance to get some of them in early foul trouble. Let's see, guys. Thank you, Doris. It's really a mindset, Kevin. You want to get into your defensive groove and find a way to stay there for the full game. Took too long inbounding the ball. That's a five-second violation. Yeah, you know, if you look at it, Clark, those games against the West were a big part of the gap between those two teams in the standings. And, Kevin, you, you can't win your division unless you can handle your business outside of the division. And that includes games against the Western Conference. 
And the Lakers making a change here. Walton's checked in. Tell you what, you get close like that every time, you'll have a productive offense. It's stolen by Wade. It's one-on-one. -on -one. From 11 feet away, Jones, no luck. And the Lakers have possession. Four-point game. Odom against Wade. And here's Kobe for three. That's good. Kobe's got his first three points of the game. The defense made the mistake of playing off him, and he drained it from deep. And seeing Kobe out there, you think about how he signed a three-year contract extension last season. Yeah, I think the deal made sense for both him and the Lakers, Kevin. Uh, another window for a championship is certainly open, and they feel like they can get it done a few more times under um, his leadership. 139 left in the first. Deflects the pass. Outside Odom. From downtown. And another three for the Lakers. That's exactly the way you practice it. Pick the open man for the great look. On defense, the Lakers. One thing you like about the Lakers, this is a team that not only Clark is a solid team at home, but they are just as terrific on the road. Well, 23 road wins is a, is a good mark, Kevin, but they won 29 the year before, so they did go a step back. But nonetheless, when you've got the kind of championship pedigree that this team has, you're not so much worried about what your numbers say as much as you are about how healthy you are and what level are we playing at when it's time to go in the postseason. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Wade. And here's Dula. Wade, right side. But Trey, Dooling cannot hit. For the Lakers, Clark, on the road, I'd say it was a relative step back. And, and, and I'm agreeing with you on that point. Uh, you've got to guard home court. Yep. And then I guess you just say, just give me a winning record on the road. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because you look across the league, typically you're only going to have, what, six, seven teams, maybe eight that have significant yes. road winning records. So clearly anytime you're, you're, you're above 500 on the road and you do a good job at home, then you feel like you've got a chance to make a run in the playoffs. And the elite teams, the old Chicago Bulls with MJ, Kobe's and Shaq's Lakers. I mean, look, we, we've had some anomalies over the years. Yeah. But, uh, but a winning record on the road is, I think, a victory unto its own, even if it's a game over 500 away from home. Exactly. I agree wholeheartedly. And again, another point just to piggyback on what you said with the elite team, they always know that if they're healthy, they can get it done on the road in the playoffs. Some great action here as the first quarter concludes. And the second quarter getting underway. It's been a close one so far. The Lakers in the lead. They, with only 24 wins at home last season, Clark, you'd expect more than that from the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, but they made up for it with a good road record, which was a little surprising but necessary. Um, they do need to do a better job of protecting their home court, though. They've got Dwayne Wade. He's out there with Dueling and Jones. That's the group on the floor for Miami. First First free throw is good. And that lack of protection you just mentioned came back to haunt them in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly right. If they hold serve at home against the Celtics, Kevin, it changes the whole series. But the inability to win at home, and they get eliminated early. Here's Kobe. It's blocked. Heat on offense. There was a poll taken last season among NBA players asking which players had the best basketball IQ. Guess who came in first? Kobe Bryant. No surprise there, huh? None at all. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, prior to last season, Kobe Bryant emailed Hakeem Olajuwon, the legendary center, who he credits as, quote, the greatest post player ever, and asked if he'd work with him on his post game. Kobe took what he learned and trained on it every day and then put it to good use in the regular season. And guys, 
Kobe's footwork was already scary. To improve even more certainly helps explain what a great season he had. Back to you. Nice stuff, Doris. Thank you. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And Clark, talk about Kobe's understanding of the game. You know about his skill level, but his awareness on the court really sets him apart. Yeah, he does, Kevin. I mean, he grew up in a basketball family. His father played in the NBA. Jelly Bean Bryant played for a number of years. So he was always around the game, but he took it to another level in his diligence in studying the game and recapturing and knowing its history. Both teams deciding to change it up. Nice anticipation right there to snatch that one. To Odom. And Shaq pulls it down. Jones with it. Looking at this Laker team along with Dallas, L.A. had the best record against the East of all the Western Conference teams. And Kevin, not surprisingly, those were your top two seeds in the West when the regular season came to an end. Here's Shaq. Kept alive. Jones working against Jones. Takes it up and slams on. Wow! Now the Sprite slam cam for the replay. He is so tenacious on the board. How many times have we seen putbacks like that from him? He can clear out the paint like very few others can. You know what you might call him, Kevin? A rebounding virtuoso. Yeah, I like that. That's right. Open look. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. Here's Jones. 48 seconds left in the second. For three, dueling. Atkins corrals the miss inside. If they go with the quick shot here, that would leave him with the final possession. Here's Odom. Again, the miss by Odom. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. Now Jones. And Jack backs down. Has him with it. Releases from 15. Hits the front rim and doesn't go. Now Walt. For three. What a buzzer beater. That's simply a big time shot right there, Kevin. To have that amount of concentration with the clock winding down is something special. A lot of players don't have that. That'll do it for the first half. So far in the game for Odom, seven points, then he's buried one three-pointer in the course of this game. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Hello, I'm Damon Bruce, and welcome to the HB Halftime Report. We got a close one underway in Miami. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against Miami. And that'll just about wrap things up. Let's get back out to Kevin and Clark for the start of the third quarter. And the Lakers have possession. Three-point lead. You know, the Heat loss to the Celtics last year, Clark, really made them look in the mirror, I would think. Yeah, I agree with you there, Kevin. I mean, Dwayne Wade was put in a tough spot last season because not a single other player on that team consistently could command the double team, much less concerted defensive attention. So that made it really hard for Dwayne Wade. Taking a look at the Lakers, we've got Odom and Atkins. Dwayne Wade has to be one of the best slashers of all time. What is your agree, Oh, yeah. When you combine his speed and size with the way he gets to the basket and finishes, Kevin, he's as unique a player as we've seen in that regard, I think. Jones, no luck. Lakers give up possession. Well, Kev, when you hurl long passes like those, you're asking for trouble. The Heat trail by six. 
And it's not only about his ability to get to the rim, way that is, but to finish when he gets there. Yeah, it's I so love fun. Yeah. yeah, I love that about him, Kevin. I mean, he's got a unique way of finishing from all angles and all positions. I mean, he's special. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Kevin, the Lakers are the defending champs two years running now, and Lamar Odom said, you have to understand you are now the target. Teams want to beat you. They compare themselves to you. Because we know that, we have to stay sharp. Guys, let's see if they can maintain their focus. Thank you, Doris. Even if the game isn't close, there's going to be a lot of those. Here's Jones, the jump off. Let's loose for three. Jones, no luck. Anytime a guy scores on you, it's natural that you want to go right back at him. But he couldn't match that last three. You know, Clark, considering the Heat were a team with so many free agents, a lot of whom knew they might not be coming back, they had remarkable chemistry in their locker room. Yeah, I think that's a credit to the character of the players, but also the coaching staff. But... Um, they did a great job of playing unselfishly and focusing on wins over individual numbers. And I, I think you'd have to give a lot of that credit to the leadership of Dwayne Wade, quite honestly, Kevin. Lakers leading by eight. Pass to Kobe. Jacks up the triple. Connects. Kobe's got eight points. These guys are putting on a clinic. They're playing with confidence, and their offense is really flowing. Here's Jones. Here's Jones, and Jack backs down. Three-pointer, Wade. The shot is off, and the Lakers go with it the other way. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on an 11-3 run. Here's Odom. The shot misses. So it's Miami now. They trail by 11. Here's Jones. Nails the tricky leaner. Jones has got his second bucket. I actually think he made that shot a little harder than it needed to be. But he showed a nice touch to knock it down. You can't be careless with the ball. That's a loss of focus, plain and simple. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Jones. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Despite that turnover, they've been spectacular protecting the ball, but they need to improve in other areas if they're going to pull this one out. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double-team it. That's your only hope. Here's Jones. Fires top of the key. George gets the board inside. Poked away. It's hard to make a pinpoint pass from that far away. He couldn't get a hold of it. He played through three in the double-digit game going on here. Take a look at what Kobe did. And now let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark of the game. Doris? Hi, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Lakers that garners the Sprite Spark today. Their offense heated up in the third quarter, and that changed the complexion of this basketball game, guys. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here's Dueling. There with Dwayne Wade. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. It's tipped. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. Mm. And here's Kobe from the arc. And another three for the Lakers. Here's Dueling. Leitner, he's covered by Grant. That's good. Here's Brown. 
Outside, Kobe. Let's it go. Kept alive. Well, he missed that one, and it's no surprise. That was one tough shot. Dueling with it. G-Wade on the wing. Let's go with a three. And that's good. Keon dueling for three. He's shooting 20% from downtown. And the Lakers call time here. They're leading by nine. 155 left in the game. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach as he addressed his team. He told his team they got to keep building this lead. He said, this is no time to coast, guys. Don't let them breathe. Don't give them any life. If we keep it up, they'll pack it in. Guys, back to you. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. So both teams changing it up here. And Butler gets it to go. Well, it looks like we're going to be going back and forth with these threes all game long. I'm down. Fires the three. Good job hustling here. I mean, making the extra effort. When you're down, you have to do all of the little things, Kevin. And they do have a slight disadvantage on the boards. Dueling for three. Scooped up. Here's Haslam. Can't make the open shot. He's got to break out of this slump if his team wants a chance to win. And here's Kobe for three. Shot's good. And the Lakers lead by 12. And the Heat call time here. They're losing by 12. 106 left to the fourth. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Jones. Takes a three. Jones, no luck. And the Lakers have possession. Wade picks him up. From the wing. That doesn't go in either for Kobe. Kevin, that's the kind of shot you want. You can't ask for better execution on offense, but sometimes they just don't fall. Here are the Lakers. A 12-point game. From deep. And another three for the Lakers. They're leading by double digits. And I'd say this game is essentially done. Jones kicks to Wade. Fouled as he went up, and he'll go to the line. First person foul, team's first. Wade, two. That free throw good from Wade. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Both free throws good from Wade. Here's Brown. 28 seconds left in the game. Here's Vujicic, and another three for the Lakers. Kev, it's all but over now. They're doing whatever they want out there. So it's Miami now. They trail by 16. Jones. Again, the miss by the Heat. You know, he can sink it from out there. It didn't happen that time, but at least it's in the back of the defense's mind that he will let it fly from there. Maybe the ball was a little slick. I don't know. That's a pass he should have handled, though. And here's Haslam. From deep. And again, it's the Heat missing. He's having a very poor half from long range. He can't find the net from there, and the defense knows it. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan brand player of the game, Kobe Bryant.